I canceled my LA Fitness membership today. Oh, boy. end of an era. It, I know you it really went so is. many times. I've had I've had that <laughs> membership since. What is that supposed to mean? No, that, I, that, you, that you don't work out. What do you think it means? That you. I had a. I had a very frozen. Busy, you're a very busy guy. Okay, no, the pandemic. No, you were going to go to the gym. No. Then you you've been very you've been very busy now. We've been you know. I'm going not to here to places. I'm not here to body shame, but you're not nope. in the best shape yourself. Tony. I never you're said anything about body shaming. Mm-hmm. We go anything. play in this basketball league with Nikki Jam, but oh, welcome man. to Mystery Crew. Exactly, exactly, you know. Are we rolling? Exactly hey! I've never said anything about your body. I'm just saying oh. you don't go to the gym because of the fact that you're very busy. Hmm. We all are. Yeah, I don't know. Right? What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. And That's I, what I'm wondering. What is that supposed to mean? You had a shot across the bow against me. What did I do? I've had, I just I've had the, the membership. Question. I've had it since like 2007 or something. And I started going on the one on 8th Street and 142nd. And yeah. then they built the one in Westchester. And then I was going there. How's the one uh, in Westchester? Whenever. It's it's not bad. It's whatever. Do they have a basketball court but, or no? Uh, They do have a basketball court. They have racquetball courts. I love racquetball. When was the last time you played racquetball? Well, that's a dicey situation. Because they changed the membership where you have to have a special different kind of membership to use the racquetball court. And I'm like, I'm not paying extra to use a racquetball court. Like, Wait, so it's like racquetball only? Oh, Tony took his cowboy works. hat off. Yeah, I did. Well, you means business now. I liked it. Yeah, okay. It reminded me of being in Austin with you guys. Better was, times, right? Yeah, it was... It was well, fun times. times. Well, pitches are fun. It was different. You're right, Billy. But I think we all did some quality bonding, bonding time, in the shipping yeah. container, at least. Because, yeah. um, you know, we were all staying at the same hotel and Ubering around together and had all our meals together. Right. And Ooh. Fill out your expenses, everybody. I, I did, did yesterday. All right. Oh, man. Did, really? I was wow. doing it as we went. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Roy, Roy was able filled to his do expenses that. out before we left off. He would fill the expenses out before he spent the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was doing exactly. the math in his head. It's going to be 85 bucks. All right, here you go. Mm-hmm. Pow. Yeah. I don't know why I said pow. I like it. It's mm-hmm. like Rob Riggle and, and Step Brothers. I learned, like, what, pow! I learned what pow yeah. pow meant today. It's bow pow. Oh, pow pow. Well, bow yeah. bow. No, no, not bow, B. Bow. P. Oh. Pow. Pow pow. Pow, pow, Is that pow, on the pow. wheel? No. Oh. I don't know if it's strong enough to be on the wheel. Okay. Really? Yeah. Pow, pow. Wow. I thought that was like universally Spanish or Hispanic, whatever. Pow, pow. Is so it not? I don't know. Perhaps. The Frankie. I, th- I thought that was in Frankie. English. Why do you say Frankie? Because he's an idiot. Because I, I stuttered <laughs> one time and I like I called him Frankie and then like Tony was there in front of me and then I look at Tony and I go Frankie and then he goes ha ha Frankie and then Frankie stuck. Because when Why I do was I sound in... like Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening on this mystery crate? What is happening was... on today's mystery Billy crate? Billy calls me flabby. One, don't think you I forgot that. You insulted me. You insulted not... me first. Why did I insult you? I, I said, said I canceled my era. gym membership and you said you've never used it. Okay, that's that is accurate. That is so false. Was it was along wrong? those lines. It was not along. I, <laughs> Am I I've, wrong? Answer me that. Am I wrong? I've I've had that gym membership frozen for two years because, and I'll tell you why, because I moved and I was I was at the beach right after I got married, but it was a short-term rental. So I said, I'm not going to cancel this because my goal is to be back in this area. And it was only a six-month like short-term lease. So I'm like, mm-hmm. if I cancel it, I'm going to have to like sign up again and pay initiation and all that. Let me just freeze it for a couple of months and then I'll be back. And then I lived there for a year and a half and I never canceled it. My apartment had a gym in the building that I was using. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, pandemic, blah, 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 all of that. And I never canceled it. So I've been paying a, a monthly rate to have my account frozen for over two years now. And it's like, I just have to cancel this because I've spent well over a thousand dollars just freezing an account for a gym that i'm not using and haven't used for two years gyms have to be the biggest scam right like the initiation fee the cancellation yeah, fee. Yeah. like there are gyms that i've i've had to like get you know cancel memberships to where it's like okay now you have to give us proof that you're moving somewhere send us all your information oh, driver's hell. license bills all of this stuff and it's like just let me cancel my membership like it's just such a scam there's they just <laughs> I don't know who works in the gym industry that's probably listening to this that's going to like tweet at me and be like, well, they do this, this, and this because blah, blah, blah. But it's like, okay. But I don't care. Just I should be allowed to cancel something when, when I, I want to cancel that's it. That's right. This is America. Were- let, me make, let me stop spending money at your thing. 
they were actually like really nice and it was really <laughs> simple, which I was anticipating a fight because when I tried to do it over the phone like two months ago, they're like, ah, you got to come in in person. And it's like, why? Why? Why do I need to come in? They're pandemic. like, well, they the managers want, they only- want proof that you actually go step in once because you have. Well, they're like, yeah, great. So they're like, the manager says that you need to come in person and he's only here Monday through Friday, like eight to five. It's like that. I mean, why are you making this so inconvenient? And then my wife at the time decided, what happened? I, I probably shouldn't say it. She's like, I can't go in. I have COVID. And they're like, oh, uh, okay. Then you can cancel online. And they're like, oh, okay, great. The but then that was also impossible. So we had to go in person. Huh. Lol. Yeah. So are we doing a skills draft on this podcast? Oh, because yeah. Because oh, Cody really wants to do that. it. But oh, yeah. I don't think any of us are prepared. So we could also just talk about Austin and maybe oh, all. Oh, boys, is calling. I want people to be prepared. Take, take the call. I don't, I don't want to force it. He's always this. calling. Answer. Me and you are at odds today. Answer. I don't answer, like your vibe. Answer, answer yeah. live on air. Let us hear it on speaker. Put them on speaker. I don't like your vibe. I mean, today. you know, if we're gonna be honest, I was asking, "Hey, can you help me with something?" You said, "Hey, that's not my job." I'm like, "Okay, well." That's I'm not. I spend oh. my whole day doing this. Oh now. my god. <laughs> well, you that's also asked fair. me this. That wasn't that's fair. not fair. That but was I did. so unfair. That, that was wasn't so fair. I'm unfair. sorry. That was so. Can we have some backstory? I don't no, know we can't on. have any no. backstory. I'm taking no. off my hat. Tony's oh, my right. oh, he just do his hat. I'm not. You can take that anymore. out. Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Like everyone's a little out. heated today. Take Lewis came I'm in. I'm so heated. chill, dude. I'm so chill. And <laughs> Billy and sorry. Lewis chose violence today. I wanted to just get through today, <laughs> have the weekend. It's St. Paddy's Day. Maybe go have a couple Flanny. cold ones at Flanny's as Leprechaun Express. Tomorrow, get some more cold ones and watch basketball. And they chose violence. Billy coming at my job. Lewis, I have to stop him from losing his. Like, come on! <laughs> I'm down for a brewski. I'm down for Get a brewski. Are we all guy. doing planties tonight? <laughs> I'm yeah, down. I drank enough, man. <laughs> we did drink a lot uh, of Austin. No, Roy I'd drank like to a apologize lot to Tony. Publicly, Billy. I need a detox. Well, that's this what this is, is right? Kind of. No, but hey. we're taking it out. Are we rolling yet? Welcome to yeah, Mystery Great. Start? Ah. Hey. What are we doing? All right, all right. All right. <sighs> Yeah, I was a little spicy this morning. I'm still spicy right now. That, that's how spicy are we talking about? Uh, I'm narrow. like, I'm, I'm like real spicy. I dude. feel like you're always a Carolina spicy, Reaper though. spicy. Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah, 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 he is. He is. He is. It. We don't. I'm wow. trying to get him home uh-uh. as soon as possible. We do not talk about the p word on the show. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot of meetings. That was before your time, Lewis. Billy can lead the meeting though. BB. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's on the phone with Stugatz now, so he's not. What do you think he's saying right now? So Billy, let's just paint hey, your picture. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Billy's Here's got us in one ear. Uh, he oh, has, wait, I'll take him full. I'll take him full. Yeah, take him full. Second, so we'll do a little play-by-play play for our video audience. So so Billy has us in one ear looking at us, but he's also talking to Stu Gods in his other ear. And they're probably talking about God bless football. Sims hey, buddy, I don't want to do, do uh, it. Three o'clock. Sims at three. But I told I told Gojo at three thirty. <laughs> so is Sims going to be over by three thirty, buddy? If not, I'll just do it myself. Don't worry Mojo. about oh, it. Oh, he had what? to take off his. He had to take off hey, his Mojo. headphones. Billy had to take off his headphones. Being choked by <laughs> the headphones. I have him, buddy. I don't even want to do it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not on the hook for anything, buddy. Was, like, don't even worry about there it. There was a classic Stugatz yesterday where we had a visitor. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who it was, so I'm just going to leave it. Person our buddy. A, He's our a name. friend of the show. Someone who's hooked us up with stuff in the past. Yeah. A friend of the show. Big listener. Yes. Um, He comes and visits, meets everybody, and Stugatz does this thing with him where he's like, buddy, I got to run. I got to do a bunch of tapings, but... I'm going to be where you you live here. I'm going to be there in a couple of weeks. I want to spend some real time with you. But, and I was just like, <laughs> oh, you should maybe grab lunch. You should give me a call. And then his, Stugatz leaves, and I go to the guy. I'm just like, I just want you to know you're he not going to hang out call with Stugatz. You. But that means he likes you. The fact that he does that whole spiel about wanting yeah. to about that, the that lie, actually right, means buddy. that he likes you. He's never going to actually hang out with you, but he does actually like you. I had a, a situation yesterday where we also had some visitors in the studio who we were planning some things out with. More on that later because I think there will be some potentially exciting opportunities for members of the shipping container with as oh, far as that's wait. concerned but wow. Stugatz what's that kind of who said that Stugatz kind of waltzed in eating a sandwich and he's never met these people before they're they're work for some other another like huge company we've never done business with them before Stugatz mm-hmm. walks in eating a sandwich he's literally choking on bread while he's meeting these people for the first time he's like Oh, good, good to meet you guys. Oh, and then like walking around doing his like Stugatz Bane. saunter. He sounded saunter. like he, he sounded like Bane eating a sandwich. And I'm like, this is if they if these people don't watch the show or listen to the show, 
This is the worst first impression. You guys is just like kind of waddling around the kitchen choking on a piece of bread. They're like, who Body. is this guy? By the way, those people were still there. I think those people like spent the night there because like <laughs> long after you left, they were still like at Hildy's desk, like working and stuff. I'm like, hmm. I know. I felt bad. They they had to like take a meeting right after our meeting. And I'm like, you guys can stay here, but I have to go because I have to take a meeting from home. So uh, see yourselves out. You had to out. take a meeting from home. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Yeah. The old did home you, meeting. Did you By the way, I had, to, I had to mute when I, I heard you guys making fun of me choking myself with the headphones because you guys were like screaming with the fake Stugats loud enough that he could hear it through the <laughs> headphones and he was saying the exact like i heard someone say something about gojo and sims as he's telling me about buddy gojo and sims at the same exact yes. time I'm like got it i just have to, to take this off and mute it because he's gonna hear what's going on chris what are we doing today uh, what are we doing today i think we should save the no skills let's do trap. your thing i mean we can do it if you want i just don't want everyone to no, be like oh, i, I didn't really prep for this and oh, well, well. we should and we should wait for witty because i feel yeah. like he'll have some like some really goofy ones that ones, we'll just yeah. make yeah. 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 yeah i think maybe we should just kind of give some behind the scenes of our, of our trip or yeah. talk about south by southwest sure. the parts that we can talk about the parts we can talk about tony yeah. mm. um i don't know i i'm curious how everyone thought that it went doing the show live in front of an audience i've never been on the road with the show before you guys have all some of you have done a live show before in new york but it was very interesting very different we met a lot of fans we shook hands kissed a lot of babies mm. you know shook babies I, kissed hands whatever you i think say, it's something that if we did babies. more of we'd get better and better at it like i felt the second day a lot better about than the first day like i just they, I, were, I didn't were think they the first day went bad either, though. Right. No, 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 neither of them were bad, but in terms of just, like, our comfort level and, like, doing the show, we always do. Because like, that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to... Because, like, you know, I could feel Dan being a little uncomfortable the first day. Mm. But I, mm. I think that anyone would be when you have to drive in a setting where all of a sudden... 400 people how many people what would you say was our a max people. crowd Lewis, 3, Lewis thought there were like a thousand 6, people there no. and I was like the no second way. day the second day with the happy hour crowd there may have been close to a thousand well, well, right no, the really? happy hour yeah. crowd was for another event. right, I'm right saying, but like, there was yes, a thousand no one needs to know that detail like there yeah. was a, well, I mean there's what 20,000 like what how many what's the population of Austin because all of those people were in Austin there's a day. million people in Austin I mean, what, do, what do we actually so, think the population is I have no I'm gonna guess like 300,000 no Austin college town yeah was our was our hotel in Austin no our our hotel was in okay it's like a million BFE. i'm way off i told Jeez. a million i said a million our hotel view my my view of the outside of the hotel window was my balcony covered in cigarette butts yeah. and then a car dealership in the potamkin ex nissan way. was in front of me <laughs> potamkin <laughs> tony, tony's room was above my room so hold on let's, let's give tony him can do some walking huh so, hold I, on, heard, I heard it on the second oh. floor because oh it literally, my god, that's such a it lie. It literally no, was not. I believe Tony, that is such a me, lie. Me, Jess, and Tony that's were. A stupid thing to say. Tony was fourth floor. Jess was third. <laughs> I was second floor, right yeah, on top of each other. Stupid thing. To wow, say. I was first floor. <laughs> and I heard walking right after Jess was like, "Tony, I hear you." I was like, "Wait, I thought that was Jess." Like, I then. No. Tony, you, you, so, maybe it was Jess. No, there maybe were, Jess is a loud walker too. Yeah, I'm not. I. Trust me, I'm not. There was a go night. walk. Let's see. Walk. Yeah, walk. Right, walk, 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 walk. That's quiet. See, I yeah, heard it. Walker. What? So there were a couple nights where I got home before Tony got home, and I could hear when he came in. Like I was like, "Oh, Tony got home. I'm glad Tony got home." That safe wasn't tonight. just Tony. That was, that all, was of us. all of us. That's when we yeah. worked out the Howard Bryant bit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they were like, they were probably laying on the floor. Four people in my room, so everybody really? was walking. What well, you didn't want to come. I invited you. I was you. invited. You didn't invite right. me. That's a lie. We That's all, a lie. We all invited you. That's a lie. We all invited you. Mm. You are lying. Yeah, I, there's I, a I vibe check that you need. What was I? <laughs> yeah, he didn't pass a vibe check. That's not surprising. There was one night where that, I was falling asleep. It was like 1030. I was exhausted. I was falling asleep. We had our live show the next day. And I just hear a freaking sonic boom in the room above me. Oh, that and was I my bad. That was yeah. Lewis laying on the ground doing the Howard Bryant. No, 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 no. It was when I threw my suitcase. <laughs> Tony he threw a suitcase, a suitcase that had like 15 pound weight that in it or hilarious. something. That's hilarious. Like, and it woke me up. Let me I woke get this up off the couch. Boom. <laughs> I totally God forgot that it. I was in a hotel, by the way. I was yeah, just like, oh, let me grab loud. my suitcase. And I threw it like seven feet across the room. Can we talk about the fact that you had a whole bag just for your shoes and you're the yes. only one that checked, checked the luggage? The bag. I checked the bag the first day. You guys checked bag? the bag too? The first no, day. no, I didn't check a bag. The first day? What'd you wow. do with it the second, the way back? I just said, just I don't carried it on. It. Yeah. Oh, you carried it on? Yeah. Big, uh, um, so it was, I know it was going to be cold. So I have 
a coat and I brought the coat and put it in the bag and I just carried mine on the plane but remember I, like... I wear size 13 so when I when oh. I bring shoes oh. they don't fit oh, inside well. they don't right. fit inside the bag because I'm bringing oh. my clothes you know, I know, and Tony, I'm bringing my shoes Tony I will I I'm will say I'm, I I know Billy you have big feet too most I feel like mostly everyone what? here does except me you do you have you probably have big shoes also my size 11 but I'm a I, 12, but there's not that much difference in size between 11 right, and 12. I agree, but yeah. I guess my point, what I was going to say before I complimented everyone's large feet was that Thank you. Um, when you're packing for certain things, like it was hard packing for Austin because there were four seasons in mm, four days, basically. Exactly. It was like, it was winter the night we got there and then it was summer mm. the day we left. But like I've noticed, like depending on the time of the year, if it's summertime, I can fit everything into a carry-on no Correct. matter what no matter how long i'm going somewhere because all my clothes it's like a tiny crop top and then like you know right. Same. seven of those and then sandals but when i'm going somewhere like in the winter it's like bundle two up. sweaters yeah. like the whole suitcase is a sweater exactly and then it's over so i, I get you tony and you, remember you my clothes are big clothes. i'm a bigger yeah. guy so my my clothes are big my shoes are big so when i try to put everything into a bag it doesn't fit but and you did you, overweight you brought a lot of pairs of shoes like well, you yeah. brought at least i only like brought four, four. Or five. i only brought four pairs of shoes that was it for four days yeah one every day i brought four pairs of shoes so i don't thank have you any. i bought three mm. thank one you. only used two one of them now how many did you bring billy I actually took three, but one was slides. So does that count? I, I actually took slides too. So I was, I guess, maybe five. <laughs> but those fit I have my, a, my overweight bag. I have an Austin game if you guys want to play it. Yep. Ooh. Austin or Aust oh. out? Ooh. No. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So I don't know how what you guys anticipated uh, the weekend trip to be, but when we were told we're going to South by Southwest and we were going to be doing the shows that are you know, two and a half hours long, whatever it is, two times. And then I think there was supposed to be a fan event that didn't happen. Mm. But the the moral is when we were told we're going to be there five days and we're only have like two days of shows and we're going to be at this festival. My thinking was we're going to have a lot of free time and there's a lot going on. So I started looking up things I would have liked to have done yeah, or seen too. that were Ooh, part of South okay. by top Southwest. Five, Billy's Tell top five. Tell us what we missed out on. Billy's top five oh, events no. he did wanted you, to go none, to. Did, did none of you do the same thing? None of you looked up different looked events up, that we could up, have gone to. Yeah, I looked no, up like, I musical look up acts and stuff, but none of them got there until we were gone. But that I was the next yeah. Week, yeah. I looked I up think stand the up music comedy stuff. stuff. Like there was, I, I was, I was, there was like it just seemed like there was just a lot of uh, techie, yeah, like things tech stuff. like that. I didn't care about. Right. It was like a lot I was of underwhelmed events. by the comedians that were there. No offense if any of you are listening. I'm sure you're great. Name them. Name names. I couldn't. I couldn't name any of them. That's why I was a little Well, isn't South by Southwest supposed to be like for up and coming people? Like hmm. it's not what? necessarily Is for it? the most. That's a good question. I think they do pay big names. Why was John Legend and Chrissy T no, no, there? No, I think well, they, they do pay out. some big names, but for the most part, I think the, the bulk of acts you see are people trying to ascend. Mm, okay. Because it's like okay. for exposure. But for then you people. have to pay a lot of money to go, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah, it's watch, like fifteen hundred. Yeah. Like bucks everything was ex like the hotels and everything were expensive. Yeah, that's just the tickets. It's like it was free to watch us, which we've yeah realized. If after. you snuck in by the back, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah you just which go I'm by the glad. River and I'm climb glad up. people didn't have to spend a thousand dollars to watch our show. Like that would have yeah. one guy did. Our crowd would have been small. Five hundred bucks a day. Yeah. <laughs> what a fool! There was a Sorry. guy who spent like Thanks I think seventeen hundred dollars, and then mm. he never went to the. I mean, let's just assume that that guy. Wanted to do South by Southwest, and then was like, I also want to see the Levitar. Yeah, he could. Yeah, Let's hope. Yeah, possible. he did something else. Yeah, maybe he lives there. Does he live there? Call no. in, guy. Tweet us when you yeah. hear this. Seven eight six four five six four eight three seven. There you go. So I have here s different movies, uh, documentaries, and like events slash uh, talks that I looked into, thinking, hey, that might be interesting depending on the day. Would you like me? Yes. To read. Is a top okay, five? so this is. Oh this yeah, is, top no, five. it's not top, top five. five. I'm just gonna go through because okay. I don't know how many I have. But this is what I'll tell you, and we can stop as as it's doing horribly. I just took a screenshot of it on my phone. So like, a lot of these will be the name of the movie. Billy Lewis is possibly, leaving. Possibly who's in it? That's fine. I don't care. See you, possibly Lewis. Possibly who's in it, and maybe like one to two sentences before my screenshot cut off, and we don't know the rest of what the movie's okay. about. Will we ever okay, know? Ready? Okay. So this movie is called Spin Me Round. And it was the uh, premiere, and it stars Aubrey Plaza and Allison Brie. Ooh. You love Aubrey. I'm a big fan, yeah, of, of both of them. I like them both. So here's how it starts the description. When the manager of an Italian restaurant chain wins the opportunity to attend the franchise's educational immersion program in Italy, what she thought would be a romantic getaway devolves, and then that's where my screen ran uh, out of space. Devolves uh. into what? 
what? Oh, man. I don't know. Hijinks? Is it hijinks? I, uh, I don't know, and I wasn't able to find out because I couldn't go to that premiere. All right, Damn what's it. the next one, Billy? The next one is called Cha-Cha Real Smooth. Hmm. Fresh well out of Cha-cha. college and without a clear life path going forward, 22-year-old Andrew is stuck back at home with his family in New Jersey. But if there's one thing that belongs on his non-existent resume, it's how to get a party started, which... Hmm. And then I ran out of space. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. I got I did that one because on Stupidity, one of the producers is Mikey A. And he told us one time, he described himself as a professional dancer. And when we asked follow-up questions, he said that his friend was a DJ and used to bring him along to events to be the first one on the dance floor and start the dancing. And he qualified huh. that as a professional dancer. Yeah. So I thought that that he would enjoy that. Okay. This next one's called... They call me magic, and this one was for Jess. Ooh, oh, I heard. Oh, I know uh, this is. I, uh, two of our Metal Lark people went there, but tell us about it. Did they really? Yeah. They okay, the four great. part docuseries explores the remarkable accomplishments and global impact of Irving Magic Johnson's life, both on and off the court. From his humble beginnings in Lansing, Michigan, and then it cut off. But I only took a picture of that so that we knew Magic Johnson may be there if we wanted to try to get him, uh, which we smart. found out was, was not as easy as we thought. He was there, but yeah, uh, I was not someone who, I, I'm not really generally someone who has the confidence to approach Magic Johnson's handlers or Chrissy Teigen's handlers or yeah. really anyone's handlers mm. and say, hey, do you want to come on our podcast? Um, we Maybe not the best guest booker because of that, but I, I tend to get embarrassed in those situations. Chrissy, very approachable. All you have to do is be on a stage with a microphone and yell, hey, Chrissy, and wave, and she'll smile and wave back. So Billy, uh, uh, now behind, the bit, time. behind yeah. the bit, Billy has been a proponent of Chrissy Teigen not being nice and has talked shit about her <laughs> and was the first one to say, hey, Chrissy, as she walked by. So there's that. Dude, we're, we're me and you are at odds today. We're at odds. All right, take that out, take that out, take that out. Because I told you that, I go, man, I feel like such a fraud because I, I was like, when we were talking about bleep it, I'm like, that, yeah, she was that. mean to people. Like, it sucks, but like, she was really mean to people. And then I saw her, I was like, hey, bestie. <laughs> I mean, we were all like that though, right? Like, we were yeah. talking about this while we were in Austin too. Like, there's a lot of fans who will talk a lot of shit to us oh on the God, internet. Oh my God, so much shit. But then shit. people will come up to us and be like, oh. You're the greatest thing ever. Yeah, and like super nice. Not that like we know that those are the same people who say mean things about but us. But like. Be. You know, if I talk shit about someone on the internet, I probably wouldn't say it to their face either. So it kind of leaves you to wonder, maybe they are. Especially when you see how big Billy is in person. How many times did you get that over the weekend? I get that a surprising amount, which I don't know why that is. Do they think you're like five feet tall? Like, what do they think? I don't know. I got it like four or five times like this weekend. How tall are you, Billy? You're a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, I'm like 6'2". Yeah, that's pretty tall. Like, I'm surprised when anyone's over six foot tall. Hmm. I just assume everyone's like 5'10". Hmm. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm like six <laughs> one and like seven eighths, but I don't like to round up normally. Oh man, that's so seven eighths. Same, nice. Same thing. No, but I don't like rounding up and saying I'm six two. But I went to the doctor recently, and they said you're six two, so I can stick with that. Even though I think Did it's they measure you with your shoes on. on? Uh, they they I think I you. think that's what it was. Yeah. yeah, they do that now. They don't make you take your shoes off for the height but, or weight. But also, like, I was being measured by someone that was, like, 5'2", who's holding their hand, like, well above <laughs> yeah, their head to yeah. see how tall I am. So there's no way it's, like, completely Did they draw it with a pencil on the wall, or did they do it with yeah, like, a measuring Yeah, and they put my initials, and every time I go, they compare it to last time. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Do you guys have those uh, in your house somewhere, like your childhood home? That, that uh, home? Yeah. Any wall? We do. I have that. I have it on a door frame. No. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Actually, they painted yeah. over it. No, it's gone. Okay. My, my childhood. Oh, no, no, no. Wow, yeah. your childhood was painted my, over. It. That's so sad. My parents like had their house repainted, but had this one little patch Aww. left. I actually have to see if the wall is still there or the the door frame is still you there. You don't know. I haven't been there since they redid the house, or I haven't looked since they redid the house. Hmm. I have a couple more if you want to. Yes, if you want to yes. continue this game of guess what this movie's about. Yes. Okay. This one's called Roommates. Two college students, Izzy and Sophia, get placed as dorm roommates because they're both disabled. They reach common ground via a bottle of vodka and getting personal. Oh. What start out, what starts out as a fun night taking shot, quickly turns into a night, and then it stops. Ah. A night oh, to man. remember. What kind of night? A night to remember. A night to forget. Was. Which one? Okay. Is this it a horror movie? Hold called, on. I, need, I have more I questions. I know. This, it could be like well, a rom-com. Well, just Google. You can Google it. Is it a rom-com? It is it about. a horror movie? Does, some, does somebody break in? No, I think... No, this is, says comedy films, and then it's oh. also under the health, disability, illness category. Because, hmm. like, there's there's like a category, yeah, there's category um, I guess, of, like, actors with disabilities or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the genres. So hijinks ensue, okay. we can assume. 
Yeah, this one's a comedy. Okay, now this one's also a comedy. And I remember taking a picture of this one because of who is in it or who was directing it. But none of that information is on. Oh, wait, no. Wait, who is this? I don't know who these people are. There was a reason why I took a picture of it. It's because of the actors, but I don't know who the actors are. Okay, so this one's called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Whoa. When a group of rich 20-somethings plan a hurricane party at a remote family mansion. Tony, mm. you and Lewis for sure What's did a hurricane, hurricane party? A hurricane oh. party just is when you and all your friends get together at a location and have a party during a hurricane. Yeah, Why would you or do like that? shortly before, shortly after. after. A lot of hurricanes miss and you're like boarded up for a hurricane that doesn't come. So like But what if it hits and then you're stuck with all those people like in a No, no. Well, it generation. doesn't happen that way. Yeah, it Yeah, it's not that quick. You'll yeah. learn. Yeah, you'll see your You'll first just kind of get through it and you'll be like, "Oh, that was it." And then, you know, Ooh, let's on. have a tentative plans for a hurricane, hurricane party. party. No, yeah. I don't oh, Jesus want a hurricane. Jess is apartment. Yeah. Jess is apartment. No. no, let's do it. Yeah, Jess is apartment. No. Yeah, you guys can come over. <laughs> no. I Jess love is hosting like first, people. Jess, Jess is like first week here, she was asking me questions about hurricanes. She's like, if there's a hurricane, can I go to your house? And I'm like, mm, I just met you. Yeah, I don't and think you so. said no, but then Mike Ryan said yes. I was like, okay, that's my backup plan. Because Billy okay, said good. no. Billy, want that? Billy put in hurricane <laughs> windows. He put them himself. That's why I asked you, Billy, because I knew you had safe windows. All by myself. Yep. Look Mike, at that. I, Strong. I Mike Ryan like, you said You have to he be 6'1 come... to do that. No, you have to be 6'2. Yeah. Luckily, you are. Yeah, I rounded <laughs> up, so <laughs> luckily I am too. With shoes on. <laughs> you don't live barefoot. Like, you live with shoes on. So, like, That's they should I'm measure saying, you with your right? shoes on. Anyway, so in this hurricane party, the party game turns deadly. Ooh. In this fresh and funny look at backstabbing fake friends and one party gone very, very wrong. I like it. Yeah. I wouldn't watch it, but I like it. Oh, so this one is a horror film. <laughs> this one's that like one a is, yeah. thriller. Wait, does the thing that go badly wrong is that the hurricane actually hits? Because that would be mm, there's, that would there's be my blood idea. all over these people, so I think that it's not hurricane. Well, maybe they didn't related. have hurricane windows, Billy. Mm. Yeah. Well, this next on remote, one stars Sandy island. and Channing. Okay. Okay. Sandy Bullock, for those who don't yeah. know. Oh, I think I know this one. Oh, Nate, yeah. This is uh, on ESPN Lost now. City or something. Yeah, right? The Lost City, yeah, that's right. So we don't need to go over this one. No, wait, well, no, no. We still need it. to know the premise. People don't know. Okay. Brilliant but reclusive author Loretta Sage Classic. Sandy Classic has Sandy spent room. her career writing about exotic places in romance adventure novels featuring cover model Alan, who's Channing, who has dedicated his life to embodying the hero. And then my phone cut it off. Mm. So. Huh. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to look that one up and keep reading. So go to the next one. Okay. The next one. These are now just... Um, these are like expos and events. Uh, th those were all the movies. It's so the Lost City. That you go to. I wonder if the yeah, Magic the Johnson City. one was good. No, have you guys been watching? Oh, have you been watching oh. Winning Time? I like the first episode. I haven't seen the second one yet. I'm gonna watch the second one. The first one was good. Amina and I actually went to the to the premiere, Ooh, and we met Magic where? Johnson. In Cleveland? Yeah, Ooh, in Cleveland. Really? Yeah, oh, we met cool. Magic, the guy that plays Magic. So not Magic himself, yeah, he, but the guy that plays well, Magic. Simple but drink that Billy just. We also yeah, uh, met the guy that played, the, played Kareem, and we also met. Norm Nixon's son, who actually plays Norm Nixon in the wow. show. Did you meet Adam that day or no? I went to his house. I know, but that was not the same time. That was a different trip. That's why I'm wondering uh, if you have multiple well, interactions. No, he wasn't with there. Him. No, Adam wasn't there. He, he why oh. would he go to Cleveland? All right, I have the, ah! the film synopsis for The Lost City. Ooh. Like you said, reclusive author Loretta Sage writes about exotic places and popular. Uh, uh, Alan, well, okay, so while on tour promoting her new book with Alan, Loretta gets kidnapped by an eccentric billionaire who hopes she can lead him to an ancient city's lost treasure from her latest story. Determined to prove he can be a hero in real life and not just one in the pages of her books, Alan sets off to rescue her. Mm. That's hmm. the story. Yeah. Hmm. Would you watch All right, it or the, no? The next thing was, an, was a wellness expo. Well, you just quit your membership at the gym, so I mean... No, but this is, I think, more mental wellness. At the South by Southwest Ooh. Wellness Expo returns. South by Southwest. I'm going to fuel your mind, body, and soul. Hmm. I thought it might be a nice little group activity for us to do a wellness Aww. expo. But, but you also not. thought it would be a good activity to do the monster trucks, and we got, you know. You know what? What? Bleep I, that whole situation. I didn't mean because that. Because we could have gone to monster trucks, and you know we could have gone know, to monster trucks. We were just sitting around, twiddling our thumbs, waiting to do a rehearsal that never happened. We could That's have gone to so monster true, trucks Billy. together. No, Saturday was important. Saturday, we, uh, what did we do? We're twiddling our thumbs yeah, for like we, six we, hours. Yeah, we did twiddle Well, our crew a lot. was hard at work. I want to make sure it doesn't sound like we're being 
No, no, no. Our That's crew. Cool. Well, no, 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 there, no. We, there were people hard at work, just not us. Just not us. Right, well, exactly. exactly. Well, yes. yeah. We were waiting to be hard at work. Yes. yes. And well, we, we were hard at work and thought. We weren't hard mm-hmm. at work at all that night. You're thinking about it. Was that the night home. of the pub? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the pub. Mm. The the hot chicken sandwich gave me a hot whistle situation right three, from uh-huh. hell. From hell. It was bad. Mm. Juju Gotti also had a hot whistle situation because he had the same thing. No, we we had a shared kinship in the hot whistle. So it was tough. The waffle fries were okay. Waffle fries were good. I had a lot of fries this trip. Yeah. I always have a lot of fries. I, we also had a lot of tacos. We got some breakfast yeah, tacos. Yeah, tacos were good. Got some how can I don't think I had fries. any tacos. Me? Of all the things you can't eat, how can you eat fries? They're potatoes. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, they're potatoes. Do you not get it? There's, There's no gluten no or anything gluten. in there? No, I thought you were like allergic potato. to a bunch of stuff. No, just I wheat. I mean, it's Basically not that. I mean, I'm with Billy. It's not like, why is that obvious? It's, a po- a it's a potato. It's a fried potato. But wheat is a grain. Yeah, potato, potato. There you is there is a potential for cross contamination because you See? if you fry well, something. That's what I was exactly what I was talking but, about. But you know, a lot of like places have their fries. own like fryer for fries, so you know, generally it's fine. So I, can, I don't I, think I the Irish pub fries. does. <laughs> yeah, the Irish well, pub. Well, I only had like everything the same two one. of those fries anyway, so I was. How'd fried. you feel? Great. Oh, okay. The Monday oh, food was so much better than the Sunday food in my mind. Yeah. Let me think. The Monday. Ooh, the, the Monday food. The Monday food. I ate probably six different types of meat. Oh yeah, it was really good. Did you ever eat that uh, quesadilla that we brought you? Yes, like I did. I ate. Old? It was cold though, but it was better. But it was good? I think quesadillas sometimes can yeah, be better they can cold. Be good. I can yes. I can go with They're that also take. Yeah. Easier to eat sometimes melted yes. cheese. I have a problem chewing. when it's fresh. Everything falls out, but once exactly, it, like, and then once congeals, it's, right? Is that yeah, the yeah, word yeah, good word. Yeah, yes. uh, that's congeals. a word. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It was a really that was from Veracruz, which one of our excellent tacos. Yeah, recommended steak tacos there. Dude, the steak was chef's kiss. So good. I had a steak quesadilla. There were two mm, different times this weekend that Lewis spilled coffee or water like all over us. On me, yeah. He spilled once on you. He spilled water all over your leg. It was like 20 degrees out. And, and the wind chill was like zero. It was Okay, no. The wind chill was like 20. <laughs> Negative zero. It was like 35 was degrees out. But there was, a, there was a wind advisory, 40 mile per hour gusts on Friday night. And then Lewis spilled coffee like all over our table when we were at the taco place on Monday. So Lewis mm. spills a lot of things. I noticed yeah. that. Billy didn't get to the taco place because I sent him to a neighborhood. Well, no, he did get yeah, to the taco place, but he true. chose to betray me. Which no, is, forty-five I think minutes. This is, I think this is why I've got an issue with you. It stems from that because I never ended up, you know, eating. It was the right I, decision. It was the right it decision, but you, a, it took us a while to get our food. So Billy almost did make the right call. He would have been waiting a long time after we. were I did make the right call. I saw the line. I yeah. knew how long it was going to take. By that point, because I had wasted so much time trying to get there, it was eleven forty-five. I hadn't had anything to eat that day. I knew we had to meet at like twelve thirty or one, and I said, "I gotta get something fast." I know where there's a water burger. Let me head over there because I already know we have dinner reservations. I'm not gonna eat there this trip. And Tony, did you eat there that trip? No, I didn't. Boom! Wow, so water burger. Chris, Chris water burger was fire. Was Chris, you fire. ate. You had it for breakfast the day. I, I, I mean, a late breakfast. Yeah, lunch, yeah, I mean, I, I, when you got a twelve something flight, you gotta, you know, you gotta make right. things happen. Exactly. Yeah. Our yeah. main goal as a, as a show was supposed to be all of us going to Whataburger. And then yeah. Billy yeah, betrayed go. me, and then Chris well, Cody betrayed me. You had all day Tuesday. I mean, it no, was my I didn't only have all day Tuesday. No, Not all Tuesday. day. No, we had time. No, if no, I had time to do it, time. you had time to no, do it. No, we didn't have time. What did no, we do Tuesday? No, we didn't have time Tuesday. What did we we have... went thrifting Tuesday. That's true. Billy Gill tried on some boots. Roy tried on some boots. Uh, <laughs> how do those people in the breakfast. store feel about like a group of eight people walking in trying on a bunch of shit and nobody buying it? They loved us. I don't think they liked it. They didn't know that we weren't going to buy it. Right? Yeah. No, they took me seriously. Jeff was hell bent on buying a pair of snakeskin boots. They were so cool. I wanted to buy them so bad, but they were ridiculously expensive. There's no way yeah. I could justify spending Is this like bargain? Can you bargain with this boots? stuff? Or it's no, like, it's no, not a bargain. No, 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 no. I wish. Like, no. If they were like, you know, $60, well, I would have gotten them. They would have fit in my bag, but uh, I would have worn them home. Yeah. Add 340 to that. Plus tax. Yeah. Yeah, was, and tip. But they, I mean, they yeah. were really nice, so I get why they were expensive, but, you know, yeah. not yeah. in my price range. I have on here that I wanted to go to a blockchain creative lab. Mm. <laughs> And I think the reason I have that is because I don't know what the hell any of that is. And <laughs> secretly, I don't think anyone on our show knows what it is either. But I figure someone probably should know what these Sounds things impressive. are. So I thought maybe I could learn. I think it would have been funny to get like a blockchain expert to come on our show and explain mm, blockchain technology. We still have to time. You got we, we still do it. Let me just that that might be in the works. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Attaboy, Billy. So. 
But it would be funny this? to see you in a creative lab with other people that are talking about blockchain. Creating, Web3. creating blockchain. Yeah, this is kind of a creative lab. What we have here in Mystery. But we don't have any blockchain. Here's one at 5 p.m. Warner Media's E Plus Talent Development Paths and Storytelling in Motion. Oh. Huh. I guess I was interested in developing. A bit talent. wordy, if you want me this. to be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit wordy of a, a panel of or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. A lot of this I would just like um, them to say what actually what it is it yeah is. yeah no that's right? why you go you figure it out once you get like there. Okay. what read that again billy so we can see like what it would actually be i'm going to read you the whole thing yes please okay it's at 5 p.m it was at the warner media house mm -hmm. at 5 p.m mm -hmm. talent development paths for storytelling in motion brought to you by warner media's e plus programs division join the warner media executives as they examine programs paths and pipelines to find emerging talent in today's landscape of creative storytellers i get it okay, okay. it sounds no, like a college yeah. class you know yeah i get it well no it was like hey we're a growing company maybe i can find some people but how mm. warner media will tell me i get it how about this peacock playground oh oh the yeah. grove that one seems <laughs> fun right oh <laughs> the grove the i'm grove. serious Planning? Dude, don't Planning play with growth. peacocks. If you see a peacock, do yeah, not play with Yeah, they will peck it, your eyeballs right out. I Wait, swear really? to God. They're dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I know dangerous. that. Wait, why do they just walk around then and no one like... Because everybody's because afraid of them. Everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody knows. What? Don't mess they with them. They dominate complete neighborhoods in... I don't know if Westchester, mm -hmm. they have the peacocks still. No. There used to be a ton no. of peacocks. They're in South Miami now. They moved from, West, from Westchester. No, they're not mm -hmm. bad. They're just they're terrifying. Really? I They're always bad. wanted my dog. So when my dog came Don't down here. Don't let your dog anywhere near okay, a peacock. I, Unless I, you never want to see Willow again. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Seriously. I wanted my that? dog. They will fuck I was, up that a was dog. me whimpering. I'm scared. <laughs> my dog, I wanted her to meet like a giant iguana just to see what she would do. Mm. And then she saw one at, in Key Biscayne a few weeks ago. And she was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> El farito. It was kind of funny. But now she, she really likes lizards. Like the little, little geckos that yeah. she sees every day. Um, are those the, the ones with the orange tail that are all black? Sometimes, yeah. There's also those are like invasive. You can kill those. If she's yeah, you in can the, hit those with your car. Mood, yeah. Ron McGill said so. Yeah, you can yeah. kill them. Yeah, that's good to know. Ron McGill says throw knives at them. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You need to you need to start calling Key Biscayne when you go to the beach there instead of Bill Bags. You need to call it El Farito. El Farito, yeah. that's what it's called. Why? Yeah. What does that mean? El Farito is the lighthouse. The little oh. lighthouse. Yeah, the little lighthouse. Yeah. I get it. So Bill, nobody calls it Bill Bags. El Farito. No one. El Farito. El Farito. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Bill Where'd Baggs, go, I El like Farito. because it sounds like Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll it's call like it El Farito. Yeah. In the it's it's been co-opted. Yeah, it's, it's El Farito. Yeah, El Farito, got yeah. it. Okay, how about this? So at the Peacock Playground, I don't know if this particular thing is at the Peacock Playground, or I just wanted to go to the Peacock Playground because they were just like streaming things. One to four p.m. True TV presents Taste the Culture screening and co and cooking demo by huh. Fast Foodies host Justin Sutherland. So this is just like a food thing that I thought, hey, let's I go like there. That. We can get some I like food, cool watch yeah. a cooking show. You know what was a pain in the ass uh, the other night was getting True TV on in time for the game I was trying to watch. Mm. It's that True uh, TV time of year again. I had to try like mm. multiple different cable authentic authentications, whatever. And then mm. I had to download like two different apps. I had tried every channel. I was like, oh, maybe it'll be on TNT. Uh oh, there's Notre uh, Dame maybe on it'll be True on TV CBS. game. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. It's well, on Billy True and I TV. have True TV because we watch Impractical Jokers religiously, mm -hmm. so... You should talk to Hildy. She used to work on the show. She could just get you like the pass or mm -hmm. whatever. What? But she did the Impractical Jokers cruise. Should we yeah, bring she this did back? The cruise too. I feel like we. Oh, you know, you know yeah. who actually worked on this show is Kristen. Kristen used to work on the show. Kristen was the one that was helping Hildy down here for Super Bowl week. Mm -hmm. Who she also went to my elementary school. Wait, yeah. what? Was Impractical Jokers like in Conchita Miami Pinoza. or something? It was not Conchita Spinoza. Is somebody at the door? Do you want to answer it? Me? No, I don't know what's going on. My dogs are barking. The other oh, day, you know, I found out that... St. Agatha, my bad, St. Agatha. I found it's out that Sugatsa's dog that barks like a maniac is actually like a 10-pound dog. Finny? Yeah, Finny. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's tiny. Yeah, he's a little I shit. assume... I, I heard... I, I've heard Finny's bark for years, and I assumed he was like a big dog. No. He's a yeah, big. I thought... Finny, no. to me, has Very like, like a booming <laughs> bark. <laughs> That's a good I one, think. actually. That is a good Do one. Do it far away from the mic, because he's usually far away from Stu. That's not bad. I feel bad if anyone's listening to this out loud and their dog's gonna bark now, like when you have a doorbell in a commercial. It yeah. was really good, Chris. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. you don't I need to drop that more, skill. <laughs> I have one more event. This is supposed to be our Tuesday event because I thought this would be the busiest of the events. Speak to it. This is the 2022 Banksy experience, Ooh. unauthorized. Oh, it's unauthorized, but it's on the website? But well, it's no, because all, I, 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 
all of like the Banksy shows and all He's that an stuff. He's an artist, are, are, by the way, for those are, the uninitiated. I thought it was the Mighty Ducks guy. Mm. Mm. You don't know who Banksy is, Chris? Well, I, I was making a joke. Mm. Well, all of all of like the uh, the Banksy tours and all of those like expos and demos and all that stuff are unauthorized because allegedly he's like not about that right. and making money off art and blah, 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 blah. yeah all that stuff. Speaking of oh, Banksy, here, did you see? Pay a million dollars for my art and it's going to shred itself. Yes, I was about to say that. Somebody paid a bunch of money and then they were like, "All right, here it is," and then there's a built-in shredder and it shredded it. <laughs> and it made it more. It's and like it made it guy, more valuable. Yes. Like the guy who got the Tom Brady football. Dude, basically just shredded guy. itself do you as soon think, as he paid you think for he's it. but i mean now he's back right do you think it's going to be more valuable no no so no. it's going to be le- now instantly less valuable I you know the so. thing about that story so Stu Gatz is like i want to talk to that guy on uh Stu Potty, guy about football whatever right one of those so i was starting to like look it up to see like well who is this person and it was listed as an unidentified buyer so like mm. i don't think it's public knowledge who mm. it is that did it but the guy bought it literally the day before he came back oh so that auction God. happened like hours before he unretired oh so it's immediate God. like immediately worthless you got to go back to sotheby's or whoever's doing the auction and been like guys i don't know what to tell you but i need a refund on this no you do that you do I the classic you do the classic i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna cancel my credit card yeah like i'm not gonna call <laughs> i'm just i'll cancel my credit card you think you then... bought on like a black on like a black american express sure. and it's like hey yeah amex mm. Do you think fraudulent charge when you when you bid on something that's like a half million dollars? Do you pay for it in cash or do you have like a payment plan or like how does this all work? Do you wire financing? The money? Wire the money. Probably. You wire it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the wrong group to be asked. If you've got five hundred yeah. thousand dollars in cash knows. to buy a ball, I feel like you you can just wire the money. Mm. Then it's probably hard yeah. to cancel. Or how that. about your points? Your point. Your points must <laughs> be crazy. He put it on his like Capital One Express card. Right, he's like, I'm five... going to Mexico. Come on. <laughs> that's a good one. Cancun. All these points. <laughs> <laughs> What would you buy with $500,000, Billy? What would I buy? A house. Another one? No, I'd pay off the house. And then whatever's left over. You buy mm. another house. No, I wouldn't buy another house. Uh, well, Bitcoin? Well, wait a minute. Hold on. How much is a monster truck? That's a good question. Ooh. A lot. Probably, probably not five hundred. dollars well, you'd spend five hundred k just on gas. Yeah. yeah exactly. I spent 500k on getting to the beach every day for a year. I would get those cowboy boots. <laughs> Can you boots. imagine Billy coming down Ocean Drive on a monster truck? That would be so cool. You can expect to pay the same amount that you paid for the parts, and that is $500,000. So overall, oh, you can damn. expect to pay a total of 300,000 for a fully built monster truck. Not forget not to forget maintenance and repairs that can mm. cost about 150,000 per year. Yeah, Holy but shit. Wow. We've got no, we've no, got a guy, no, Billy. No, I got no. a guy. I got a guy. Not yeah, just me and Tony. Me yeah. and Tony got into over the weekend. We got into the car oh, uh, yes. modification business. Yes, we did. Huh. Yeah. Should we tell that story? I don't know cuz someone a little might long. someone might steal it from us. Mm. Okay, can basically, we give Danny's the grandfather. Yes, thank you. Danny's <laughs> grandfather is selling a thirty-year-old Benz. Yes. Who the fuck is Danny? Hmm. Yeah. So his grandfather's selling a thirty-year-old Benz that Tony's brother wants to buy for five thousand dollars. He's actually lowered the price to two five. He told me yesterday. Damn! In yeah. half? Yeah. Huh. Wow. Well, this this Benz has windshield wipers on the uh, front headlights, which is exciting. So. One thing that it doesn't have, this 30-year-old car, is a sunroof. So Tony and I were discussing how we could install a sunroof ourselves on this 30-year-old car. Right. <laughs> I think they're laughing at you, Billy. No, I'm laughing at Chris Cody, who's just been lounging in the background. Yeah, he's not listening. With his head over he's, his he, hand. He's I'm not, listening. I'm enjoying it. What do you uh, mean? Uh, why are we why, talking is, about he, why is the attention going to me is right there now? Bowling they were doing tonight? A thing. Is there bowling tonight? Uh, yes, but I'm not going. Uh, okay. Can I ask you guys a question? Are you all as fried as I am right now? I'm I was actually yes. the, honestly what I was thinking when you said like when you looked back at me and started laughing, I was thinking to myself, all right, we're at 43 minutes. We can end this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. It's over. <laughs> See you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.